Right guys, this is Seamew. I haven't ever set this up for a long time. Um, but I thought I'd do a video on it anyway. It's one of the easiest ones to set up. And one of the ones that it runs absolutely amazing. It's a real low resource emulator. You know, pretty much every, every computer should be able to run this. So, I'm going to do Star Fox, which is a motion controlled one, which a lot of people get wrong because they're either missing the keys or they haven't got the right gamepad selected. So, this one I'm running with my PS5 controller, which has motion controls built into it. You do need a program which I've zipped up called DS4 Windows. It converts motion controls into the emulator so first of all we'll stick this on so you just wherever you put it you go down to the exe and and double click on it and it will pick up your control pad it will work on ps4 i think it works on ps3 pads as well and ps5 which i've got so you turn it on and it will show up blue when it's connected to your gamepad. Right, and now, yeah, I've included the keys file. These are like CD keys for the games, different ones. Without them, the games won't run properly, or won't run at all. So now we'll start the emulator right and here the custom path wherever you have extracted the emulator to you don't have to worry about this one at all I put in only one game which is Star Fox Zero so you want to go to browse and find the ROMs folder. Mine's on desktop at the moment, so you go to browse and then you find it which is obviously in the folder, select folder. And you want to download community graphics packs. You haven't got a lot of graph well, you only really choose the API in the emulator itself. All the rest is done through the graphics packs. So download community graphics packs. Yep. So these are all the graphics packs here for all the different games. So now we go to next. Automatically check for updates, which I normally do. And I don't normally start in full screen, just in case you get any crashes or bugs or anything, so you might be able to see what's going on. And go to close. Right, so you've got the one game here. So options. You, you can go to graphics packs. And I've only got installed games highlighted. So you click this little box here, click on graphics, and click on resolution. And you have a drop down menu here. This might even play at 8K, but I'm going to stick with 4K to start with. And that's it, that's increase the graphics resolution. And we're going to go back to options, general settings. You can have the bar showing in full screen so you can get to the top tabs if you want, but I don't normally bother with that. Graphics, you haven't see, like I said, you haven't got a lot here. Bicubic, these, you got different upscale filters, but Bicubic's the better looking one. V-Sync if the game's going too fast. 
but pretty much they stick to the right frame rate. Um, so now we have your API. There's only two, Vulkan or OpenGL. Most graphics cards nowadays run on Vulkan. But if you haven't got Vulkan, you can drop back to OpenGL, which is slower. So I'm going to keep it on Vulkan. Audio, I've never had an issue with any of the sound. So I've always kept it the same. Overlay, you can have frames per second. I'm going to put mine uh, top left. And you've got scale, so it should be fine at 100%. The scale actually makes, so when you see the frames per second, it can make it larger or smaller, depending on the scale. You can show RAM usage, but I, I'm using MSI Afterburner anyway. account you can create your own because pretendo is you can play some games online but I haven't actually um, tried it out yet so I'm gonna leave it off for now and I'm gonna click off it right now we're going to go to your gamepad settings right here this is where people mess up on stealth ops because there's only one controller that works Wii U gamepad pro controller won't and classic won't and Wiimote won't so you want to stick it on Wii U gamepad and then you have your controller Right, because we're using the motion controls from the PS5, you want to choose DSU, then controller, or you've got to just pick it up and shake it, and it will pick it up. There you go. Controller 1, and you go add. So now it says it's connected. And I'll go to, oh, before that, I've got that. Go to settings, use motion controls, which is here. You don't need to calibrate, don't do anything, and go to OK. Right, now we want, all you got to do is click on each one, push a button on your controller. I'll go through them pretty quick. The click buttons is um, L3 and R3, or middle on your analog sticks. Some games you do need bl um, blow on the mic. I think that's used in. Uh, I can't remember the name of the game now, I'll think of it in a minute. Oh, treasure tracker. Then you can also save your profile. So, Star Fox Zero, and go to save. And as it has a little quirky bits, sometimes I come out, go back in. And go back to the input settings just make sure it's still there star fox zero right we gamepad yep guess for you so now we'll start the game see and with all the other ones, you won't, be, won't get past that screen. But I am now going to come out of it a minute because I'm going to stick on 
um, reshade. Right, now put on reshade. I think you can only get a certain of filters that work on OpenGL. I think some of them like um, RTX Global Illumination only works on OpenGL and not Vulkan. But I do like HDR filter. And clarity is always a good one. Okay. See, this is using the motion controls. Keep doing it too early. I'm just wondering.
There's a bloody angel, man. The name's Fox. Fox About the cloud. cloud. I'm the leader of Star Fox, an elite fighter squadron established by ex cornerian flying ace James McCloud, my father. Five years ago, my father was hired by General Pepper of the Cornerian Army to investigate strange activities on planet Venom. He never returned. Despite being a backwater little rock in space, Venom had become the base of operations for Andros, a crazed and banished scientist. Three pilots flew out on that mission. My father, James, his best friend and wingman, Peppy Hare, and Pigma Dengar, an honorless slime ball who volunteered for the assignment. Turns out Pigma was working for Andros the whole time. No one saw it coming. Pigma betrayed Peppy and my father, and led them straight into a trap. In the chaos that followed, my father sacrificed himself to create a diversion so Peppy could escape. Barely making it home with his life, Peppy knew it fell upon him to report the courageous last moments of James McCloud. At the same time, he delivered the news that Andros had amassed a terrifyingly huge army and intended to conquer the entire Lilat system. And so began the Lilat Wars. Five years have passed. The battle between the Cornarian army and Andros's forces is spreading to every planet in the Lilat system. To carry on my father's legacy, I brought Star Fox out of retirement. I've got the latest technology, and I'm filling the team with pilots I know I can trust. Slippy Toad, a close friend and a gifted mechanic. Falco Lombardi, a hotshot flyboy who's got your back when the going gets tough. Peppy Hair, my father's old wingman. A seasoned pro, and the glue that holds the team together. That brings us to today. While en route to planet Cornaria, we received an urgent message from General Pepper. Apparently, Andros's army appeared out of nowhere and launched a full-scale attack on our once peaceful capital. Now's our chance to honor my father's legacy and restore the Star Fox. Guys, get on, it? You hear that, Andros? We're coming for you! Yeah! <sighs> you bastard.
Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I'll go that way, guys. Mm, long one.
I don't really get them. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and that's how to set up CMU and Star Fox. If you want the ROM and the emulator, just send us an email. Cheers. <laughs>